Hi, I'm Steve Combs, Superintendent of Harrisburg R8 School District. I'm with Kyle Fisher, High School Principal. Today we'll be discussing a couple different topics, mainly about our implementation of Year 2 PLCs and some of the goals for the project this year. Mr. Fisher, um, recently you attended a conference. Would you tell me a little bit about the conference that you attended? Uh, we attended the, uh, conf the PLC conference with uh, Ken Williams, and uh, he provided a lot of really good motivational uh, opportunities and a lot of good motivational tactics uh, to kind of help motivate the students and, and, and one thing that he really discussed and, and hammered home to all the all the faculty members was uh, ha having a bar that, um, that that was the same for every student and, and make sure all the students got to that bar and I think that's one of the big messages that the entire faculty took away from that conference. Okay, I know last year we talked about that you struggled a little bit with uh, buy-in uh, you had a veteran staff, uh, really a split staff, half veteran, half newcomers. Um, newcomers seem to be jumping on, jumping on board. Veterans a little bit more reluctant. Uh, do we talk about maybe find a, a project that you could pilot, something that you could? Because uh, a lot of times I think the older teachers are just uh, nervous about change. Uh, have, have you were you able to come up with a pilot project that you're interested in, or something that you got? Yeah, yeah, we did. We uh, here at the high school we. We, we got two teachers, uh, the English teacher and the uh, uh, high school uh, biology teacher, that are both going to uh, kind of participate in the pilot project. They're really going to focus on, uh, on on identifying power standards, um, you know, a certain number a quarter, and uh, it, it, all the results are going to be data driven. They're really going to look at, look at the results, look at the data. Uh, they're going to if, if students don't reach that bar, then they'll reteach. If they do reach that bar, uh, they'll, they'll enrich the students that they do reach it. And so uh, they're really going to do this pretty strictly, pretty rigidly for the entire year. Uh, we're going to look at the data, look at the results at the end of the year, and see how it went. And uh, hopefully, hopefully it goes well, and they can uh, and that they can kind of share that with other teachers, and other teachers will jump on board with, uh, with this as well. Now you talk about identifying standards. What are some of the ways that you're going to support the that the English teacher didn't find some standards. Well, so we'll we'll, uh, we'll, we'll meet with them, um, you know, probably here here pretty quickly, uh, and we'll discuss uh, along with the um, along with the uh, the, the uh, curriculum director what standards we really want to identify because I, I don't think we want to identify too many too quickly. Um, you know, we want to maybe focus on uh, three to five a quarter to to identify with each of them. So we'll. We'll meet, we'll sit down as an administrative team uh, with, with teachers uh, that are going to participate in this pilot program, uh, pilot project, and, and we'll, uh, we'll really discuss what, what power changes we want to identify. Uh, the administrative team definitely needs to be involved in, uh, in identifying those. Okay, um, one of my questions, I know from being in that position a few years back, um, that you also have some teachers who will have some negative thoughts on some of the aspects of possibly some of the late homework. What do you plan on doing to adjust that, and how are you going to address that? Or are you going to change your policy, or how are you going to do that? That's something we'll definitely look at. Um, I, th I think that uh, I think the policy does need to change. Um, you know, that we'll, we'll set up uh, the PLC leadership team will definitely be involved with that, as, as, as well as the administrative team. But uh, yeah, I think it's going to be really important to get the PLC leadership team to buy in, uh, so that they can. Um, you know, trying to get the the other the rest of the faculty, like you said, the veteran faculty, to buy in. Because uh, last year the buy-in wasn't great with the veteran faculty, and uh, this year it's going to be really, really important to make sure the PLC leadership team can help us in getting the veterans to buy in, especially that uh, new homework policy. Because we we've, we've talked about uh, doing, you know, there's you know, no no zeros and no uh, and and all that work can be turned in as, up up to a certain point. Uh, but we're we're definitely looking to make some changes. Okay. Um, Talk to me a little bit about, you said the time period, the first part is just probably going to be the first quarter. Um, what are some of the data points? What are some of the ways you're going to collect data? You know, I, with that staff, I know it's, it's going to be data driven, a lot of decisions are going to be made. Um, also, you know, some of the buy in, you get the numbers behind it. Tell me about some of your, your data collection points. You talk about the pilot project? Yes. So, with the, uh, to the English teacher and the, and the science teacher, what they're going to do, they're going to kind of go. They, they kind of talk, and they, they, what they kind of decided on was every two to three weeks, uh, they'll, they'll do they'll give a pre-test, collect data off that, um, then they'll, they'll, they'll teach, they'll have formative assessments, and then at, at the end of the second week or the third week, depending on how long it takes them to uh, teach that standard, they'll do a post-test, 
collect data off of that. Um, I think they kind of decided on an 80% benchmark. If they, if they get 80% on that post test, that means they hit the bar. If they did not get 80%, then the, they, need, they need to be, uh, there needs to be some reteaching done. Um, and after, a, you know, however long they need to reteach, whether that's a day, whether that's two or three days, they'll reassess and they'll collect data on that. And, and uh, there'll be different assessments. It's not, they're not going to be getting the same assessment. Um, but they'll, they'll be collecting data on that and uh, hopefully, you know, more people reach that 80% uh, benchmark. So there'll be, there'll be data collected on, uh, on the pre-test and the post-test and on the, the reassessment as well as the formative assessments as well. Any, any problems you foresee, any, any hiccups? Uh, are both your English teacher and your biology teacher on, on board with this? Yeah, but they're on board. Um, you know, part, part of the problem is that the, uh, you know, like you said, with the veteran teachers, um, the, both, both the English teacher and the biology teacher are kind of younger teachers and they're, they're real kind of gung-ho about this. Um, so I'm not real sure how some of the veteran staff is going to respond to two younger teachers um, kind of changing the way uh, that things are done around here. Um, and so that's what, that's what's going to be real important for the PLC leadership team and for uh, the administrative team to give support to the English teacher and the biology teacher to reinforce, uh, hey, we're, we're behind you. Um, and, you know, hopefully the results bear that at the end that, this, this way does work, and then, and then hopefully veteran teachers see that, oh, yeah, that way does work, and uh, they change the methodology a little bit. Okay. Um, when do you plan on uh, presenting these results? I mean, what avenue? I mean, are you going to use you know, one of our PDC, PD days? What, how do you plan on presenting those? I, I, I think in the, first, the September PD day, um, I, I'd like to see some, some data on uh, you know, how the first uh, Unit or two went. You know, hope, hopefully by the by the next PD day, which is in late September, hopefully uh, they're through at least one standard by then. They can present some data on how that went. Uh, I don't think we'll really know how the uh, entire project is, has gone until the end of the end of the year, uh, whenever we get our uh, our testing results back. But you know, you can collect all the data you want, and you know, students can perform however they want. But until you really see that uh, that data at the end of the year on how students improved or didn't improve uh, from previous years. It's hard to really know how uh, how the project went. Okay. Okay. Um, as, as far as of course, we always got to talk about money. <laughs> uh, budgetarily, um, what are some of the things that uh, that you're going to need from me out of the budget? Um, anything I can do to help at this point? Uh, the, the 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 conference, the Kim, the Kim Williams conference, it costs about uh, twelve hundred dollars uh, per building, and, and of course we'll need to. Uh, We'll need to keep getting funding to uh, to go to the conferences and to uh, bring the bring the experts in that we had for the PD days last uh, for last year, and we'll continue to need funding for that this year. Uh, so just continue the process, continue to implement this, and to continue to uh, get, make this push to uh, to really get buy-in from everybody. Uh, we'll, we'll continue to need some funding for for those things. Okay. Thank you.